Come back here. Come back here. Oh, yeah, there you go. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome back to our Wyoming life where we strive to bring you along as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary here in our little corner of Northeast Wyoming. Uh, we raise cows here on the ranch along with a few other animals. The cows all are direct to consumer. So these are actually the mom cows that are hanging out with me, but we also have steers, uh, which end up in our feedlot program and eventually shipped directly to your door <laughs> or purchased at the farm store. You're gonna eat the camera? <laughs> We're gonna duck here in the, in the gator here really quick because we are getting accosted. All the cows think we have uh, something to eat. They had a, a bale for breakfast this morning, but they pretty much cleaned that up, so they think it's uh, it's time to grab more to eat. Anyway, like I said earlier, my name is Mike. If this is your first time here, I really appreciate you coming and hanging out with us. Be sure to subscribe and follow along. I did say that we like to explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary, and basically what that means is, well, it's exactly what we did. We came to the ranch in 2008 and uh, left the corporate world came to the ranch, which was owned by my wife, her, her Aaron's mom and stepdad, and uh, we came to help out and just never left. So that was what, 14, 15 years ago? And here we are now, still on the ranch, running the ranch, uh, buying the ranch, all those good things are all on the way. This is technically our first video of the month because uh, for the last few days, I've actually been hanging out in New Orleans. New Orleans, Louisiana, uh, where Marty Brown was just kicking off. Check this out. And I was down there for the NCBA uh, CattleCon 23. But I did get a chance to go down on Bourbon Street, Frenchman, and all that kind of good stuff and hang out and uh, see some of the really uh, neat things that you know you don't get to see here in Northeast Wyoming. So that was really cool. And I thank you guys for the opportunity to do that because we were taken down uh, by FBN, that's Farmers Business Network, and uh, hung out at their booth and got a chance to do some really cool stuff uh, with them. Hey there YouTube, we are hanging out in the Big Easy, it's New Orleans with the NCBA Convention CattleCon 2023 down here. Behind me, this is the FBN booth where we're getting a chance to hang out. The bar is open, Let's come on down, say hi, get yourself a chance to win one of these uh, calving kits that we talked about just the other day on our channel. Big old cow back there. And Aaron right over there. We've got a lot more coming, so uh, be sure to hang out, and uh, we'll bring you more from NCBA CattleCon 23 with FBN Farmers Business Network. So, <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Our first video of the month uh, normally is a video where we go around, we check on all the animals. We call it our roundup, and it's actually r a really important video. Even though it's not our most watched video of the month, I'm sure, it is a very important video, and that's because it kind of gets us an idea of what we've got coming up for the month. And pretty much everything on a ranch revolves around the animals. So the, uh, the first video here, our roundup video, is all about the animals and going and taking a look and, and meeting all the animals on the ranch and talking about what they've got coming up uh, for them. So these are our emus. This is Forrest and Jenny, in case you've never met them before. And uh, really, for the next month, they're not going to do much. They're going to hang out. They actually, what we really need to do is get in here and clean this entire barn out um, because we've been letting them run around in here uh, most all the time. So they can run around in the barn. They can actually go outside. They get to hang out with our donkeys. This is Leonard, who's actually a rental donkey. Uh, he's just hanging out here uh, for the winter, and then he'll be going back home. We're just taking care of him. And then back there, that is Ethel. Ethel is our pregnant donkey, and Ethel's been pregnant for a long time. Uh, we're expecting her to have her foal pretty much any time now, whenever she decides to do it. And as we take a look down at her, you can see that she's kind of thinning out a little bit. She actually looks thinner than she has in the past. That may be because her foal has actually turned. We don't exactly know. But hopefully, let me see if I can 
get in here and take a look at her teats, which she's not gonna let me. Um, <laughs> hope she doesn't really have anything going on with her teats, but hey, Leonard, move. We are gonna try something else here. And we're gonna check her ligaments. <laughs> move, Leonard. We're gonna check her ligaments here on the backside. And you can kind of tap on them. And those, it's very tight. Her, her butt area is not very jiggly, not very squishy, which tells me that she doesn't really have much going on as far as folding, which is fine. She'll do her thing when she's ready. So they live here in the barn and they can come outside anytime they want. They've got some hay down there. Uh, the emus actually eat a special emu pellet, but they've seen them chewing on the hay a little bit. A majority of our pigs actually left um, here this week and went off to freezer camp. They'll be back on the ranch here within a couple, well, about six weeks or so after smoking and hanging and all that kind of good stuff. But we do have four piglets left and these guys they didn't really make weight i guess is the best way to put it so since they didn't make weight uh, which we're going for about 250 to 300 pounds uh, when it's time for them to go off to freezer camp these guys get to hang out here for a little while longer they're going to be here until april and they'll get a chance to fatten up a little bit one of these guys is only like 100 maybe 150 pounds so we want to make sure that they're definitely where they need to be uh, before they end up back here online in the farm store and all that good stuff. So, you get a little stretching in there. Sorry if I woke you guys up. That one's still sleeping. They're trying to anyway. All right, I'll leave you guys alone. So we've got cows, we've got the emus, we've got the donkeys, and we got the pigs, but we have a lot more going on in the ranch this month as well. Um, we are actually now gonna head over towards the chicken house. We're gonna take a look at chicken eggs, number one. Everybody's talking about eggs right now, um, and see how our chickens are producing. We've had some cold weather here over the last few weeks, um, so they've actually slowed down a little bit again. They did pick back up when it warmed up, then they slowed back down. They kind of go through a cycle based on the weather. So we're gonna see how they're doing as far as eggs go, and then we're gonna do something with with Pepper, who is Cruella's baby goat, who was born three weeks ago today. You can see all the cows milling around out there. Uh, cows are set to do, well, they start calving in, uh, what, March. So I think it's like March 15th or March 20th or something like that is our first due date. So we'll definitely be keeping an eye out for, uh, for any, any calving type behavior, which could happen in February if we had a cow that decided to go early. So there is a small chance that we could have a calf this month. Pretty small chance. I would call it, I don't know, one in 50 would be my odds on that. We also have another goat that we're going to go see who we're waiting to have her kids as well. As we're heading over there, you may know that notice that I've gotten the gator back. If you've been watching, uh, the gator spent the last month in the shop. Um, we actually had some sort of freezing up issue happen with the throttle, and we don't know if it was electrical or if it was mechanical. Uh, the throttle actually went bananas, and the, we blew the, the transmission on this gator. So uh, it's been over at John Deere for the last month. They got the new transmission put in, and. Uh, now we're back up and rolling. We're just trying to figure out who's going to pay for it. Hey, kids. How's it going? All right, so here we are in the chicken house. Uh, like I said, we're going to be getting eggs. First of all, though, since it is uh, Pepper, who's right here. Pepper's the little one. This is Cruella, his mom. This is Waffle, and there's Jack, and there's Fancy. Now... Fancy, we're waiting to have her kid, but I don't think she's anywhere near doing anything. We'll take a look at her, see how she is doing. But because uh, Pepper is now three whole weeks old, Pepper gets to go outside today. Oh, whoa. <laughs> All right, in order to help make that happen, I am actually going to, this is a little uh, quarantine cage that we've been using for Pepper and his mom to kind of keep them separated from the other goats in case there was any any bad things going on, but I think everybody's pretty much used to each other. 
This is Pepper, by the way. You ready to go outside today? Go outside and play? Yeah, let's go do that. Okay. So I'm gonna get this cage out of the way. Hey, Jack, move your butt. Move. Oh, oh, thank you, bud. All right, we're gonna sneak outside and let him out. So this will be Pepper's first adventure outside. And it's a pretty nice day. The sun is kind of trying to shine. It's a little windy. But other than that, we're okay. All right, let's see what happens here. Come on, kids. There's mom. Mom just took a, made a run for it. And Fancy comes out. And here comes little Mr. Pip. Hey, buddy. Hey, look at you go. And in he goes. Oh, he's going to come back out. There he goes again. Lots of bouncing. Hey, be nice to him. Leave him alone. Hey, leave him alone. You come back here. Get your baby. Go get your baby. You gonna go inside, Pepper? All right, mom and baby are gonna duck back inside, it looks like, for a little bit. Well, maybe, mom came back out. You're okay. And really what it's gonna take is a, a little while for these guys to kind of get used to each other. Uh, being around each other, there's obviously um, a few issues that are going to arise, but our hope is that everybody will be able to get along. All right, let's uh, gather some eggs. We're going to count these bad boys up as we go. Like I said, we had some cold weather, so egg production probably dropped. We were at about 30 eggs a day about a week ago. We're going to see where we're at today. There's four, six, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen and twenty. So there we go. Twenty eggs. Twenty eggs, which isn't too horrible considering um, that uh, just a few days ago it was minus twenty-five degrees. So totally fine with that. We're gonna take a quick look at the chickens. See what we got going on there. We also have. A few meat birds still left. Um, I really don't know what Aaron's plan is for them, but we'll see what they're up to too. And then we'll swing back. We'll take a quick look at Pepper before we head across the road. Look at the steers, horses, bulls, whatever else we got going on over there. Hi chickens. You guys need, you guys need a pep talk? You guys need a pep talk? They're there all over there eating. All these chickens getting a bite. Our turkeys are over here as well. We got a few toms here. A couple hens. Hey guys, how are you guys? And then hanging out in the back there, those are actually meat chickens. Like I said, I don't know what we're doing with those because they're pretty dang big. And there's Peacock making an appearance. It seems like just a few weeks ago that he lost all of his feathers, but you can see his tail feathers are coming back very nicely. So, all right, next stop is the steers. We'll see what we got going on over there. 
it is really nice to have <laughs> the uh, gator back hopefully we can get it straightened out and see what's going on this gator has been in the shop a lot uh, since we bought it what almost two years ago um, but you know it's weird is while it's in the shop you still have to make payments isn't that weird All right, over here at the stairs, we have the A team and the B team. The A team is right here. We're gonna have to weigh these guys uh, before too long. Now, the, these guys go in the beginning of March, if I remember right. So um, we actually have a few steers that we probably have to go pick up, uh, well, the meat from a few steers um, over in Sturgis, South Dakota. I think we have to probably go get that this week and uh, and get that put on the website too because we're a little low in, on uh, steaks and stuff like that. We'll be able to get all those back into stock. So a little wet and muddy over here, mostly because uh, we've had, like I said, temperatures have been up and down. Um, it's probably in the 40s today, so we're actually seeing a little bit of melting, um, which then is causing some mess in here. So I think... A couple of projects we're going to have coming up this month that have to do with these guys. First of all, uh, we'll be weighing, making sure everybody's on, on course for their gains. But also, I got to get in here and start cleaning this up. So hopefully we get a few days of some nice weather and uh, we can clean all this up. And Because uh, it's got some big old, big old piles of something in here. Hey, and there's one making another one. Thanks. That's what we call job security. All right, we're gonna head over here. I'm just gonna walk. I guess I could have drove over, but we're just gonna walk over and see what's going on inside this barn over here. Cause this is where, and I don't know where they're at, so they may not even be close by, but uh, our horses, some of the steers are hanging out and along with our bulls. We have a few more steers that are waiting to get into the feedlot system. Uh, we bring them in there when they're about 800 pounds in groups of six now. Uh, we're finishing six steers every other month, so groups of six come in at about 800 pounds. Out here, these guys are a little bit lighter, so let's see who we got in here. We got nobody. You can see some of the horses are down there stick our head in here there's no cows in here big old mess though definitely needs cleaned up that's some skid steer work there got some panels that got knocked over once again get those set up and out of the way but oh i don't know if you can see it but they're way back there on top of that hill i, I doubt you can even see it but there's uh, a couple of bulls up there and it looks like the rest of the steers. I think there's only two bulls left in. Well, I know there's only two bulls left in here. Um, that's LOL and Doof Vader. And then there's three steers that didn't quite make weight last time. So they'll be rolled in with another group. So that's it for over here. We're going to swing back over to the cows because obviously cows are very important on the ranch. I want to tell you what we got going on with them before we cut you loose for the day. there back behind me that is actually our RV park back in there um, we're hoping to see a few people maybe show up probably not in February but coming up here before too long and then right here is our Airbnb we're just driving past it we actually have a guest in there right now and it's available come I think uh, April or so so if you wanted to stay on the ranch you could you could do that all right back out to the cows We'll see what kind of projects we got on the way for these guys. So marshy out here um, you can actually watch this field uh, from our website 
We have a webcam that looks down on us. This is number two, by the way. Hey, number two. Hey, kiddo. How you doing? Number two is actually a pretty tame cow, but she was not a bottle calf or anything. She just, she just really likes food and really likes people. Plus, she's like, she's old. She might be the oldest cow out here on the ranch. So, out here, we've got about, I want to say about 60 or so cows that are out here in this pasture. And one of the things that's going to have to happen this month, because we are going to start calving here before too long, um, I kind of want to get in here and get some, uh, um, some sorting done. So, in this group of cows, uh, we have our heifers, which are due to calve early. So that's like this one right here. That's a heifer. These ones, because we put our bull out about a month before we put the bull out uh, with the with the big cows, uh, heifers are just, uh, just uh, you know, first time moms. Um, since they got the bull early, they'll actually calve a little bit early, which will be nice. Right here, this is one of our steers. Uh, this steer, we're gonna actually have to sort off this month as well. Hi, buddy. This is Cracker Jack. Hi, Cracker Jack. <laughs> that steer back there, we're, hi, buddy. That steer back there, we're actually gonna have to sort off as well, along with about, uh, oh man, how many are there? I don't know, 30 steers or so um, that we got to get sorted out of here. They'll go in, uh, like I mentioned, we have those three steers that are left to go into the feedlot. These guys uh, will take their place. So we'll start uh, backgrounding, which means we're going to start feeding these steers up and getting them all taken care of. There's a steer right there that looks like it has ringworm. Let's take a look at his eye. Come here, kiddo. Let me see your eyeball. Not gonna let me see it are you there we go nope so <laughs> if you look at his eye um i think it's a him he's got kind of a, a bear spot around his eyeball there you go you can kind of see it so that's a good indication of ringworm so oh here's another one same thing So when we bring these uh, steer, I think we're probably gonna do it all in one fell swoop. We have to um, we have to sort off the heifers, we have to sort off the steers. I think we can probably do that all together um, and that'll be pretty handy to do it that way. So we'll also medicate everybody. Uh, we'll do a pour on as well and we'll be able to get weights on everybody, which will be, which will be very nice, especially for the steers that are going in um, into the feedlot. Like that little guy who's got a little bit of ringworm as well looks like they passed it around each other so that is pretty much it uh, those are the big things that we have coming up this month uh, other than that it's kind of a maintenance month but that's okay we're gonna have a lot of stuff to do a lot of projects on the way uh, the project list is back so if you remember the project list from past videos um, we are working on putting that back together so we're gonna have some uh, really quick kind of uh, project videos that you're going to be able to come along for and check it out and see what we're up to but uh very nice and simple and easy video today and i thank you guys for that because i'm still a little bit wore out from uh from new orleans so by the way that wasn't me on the bull but it was a friend of mine and uh he did pretty good so guys uh that's it be sure to subscribe, follow along as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. If you're interested, head on over to our website, ourwilminglife.com. Take a look at everything we got going on there. And keep, keep watching videos where we explore the ranch life, escape the ordinary. We do it lots, come sometimes three times a week. The 30 and 30 is coming up that before too long, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, that's 30 videos in 30 days during calving in April. Um, we got lots of stuff on the way, guys. But for February, we'll be working a lot of cows. Um, we've got the donkey hopefully gonna have her baby this month uh, we've got another goat on the way another goat baby uh, we've got steers we've got corral cleaning we've got all kinds of good stuff to do and it's all on the way right here on our wyoming life i better take a nap now start gearing up for all this stuff